Um, I've actually been praying about it, thinking, like, can I please just keep all the bad energy away from me? And during all of that, I've seen that I've stopped talking to Libo. And for me, that is a huge, like, it feels like a huge relief off my shoulders. Because after having a conversation with him, Paul, it let me know that we were both being played by the same person being Libo. <laughs> had another very interesting diary session again today and <laughs> it was very interesting it was very interesting and hilarious to me because i was hearing some of these housemates say certain things trying to paint themselves as the saint while the other housemates are the villains of the show and then there were those ones who are still very much bitter about Tender's choice of selection for um, two housemates to go with him to the finals. I mean, guys, there were just so many things, so many revelations, so many ventings, pent up emotions, and of course, a lot of complaints about Terry and Tember, of course. So, um, listen, let's just get into the video. I'm going to give you all the juicy tea um, as it comes. And before I go into that, anyways, let me first of all welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. You're welcome back. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Francis speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. Now, without much further ado, let's just quickly get into the gist. So, first off, I had done a video this morning talking about the altercation that um, Temba and Terry had had yesterday, which is, of course, as a result of Terry's lack of listening skills. And I had also recommended that Terry definitely needs to go for some trainings in listening and communication because obviously she lacks a very good communication skill and i explained further that listen communication is not just about talking 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 all the time communication has to do with you know sending emotions or feelings or messages whether via text or visuals whatever via signals however it comes you're sending the message or information whatever and then whoever you're sending it to there's actually a receiver or a recipient the person receives it and then the person responds back now without response or feedback there is no communication so when it comes to terry's own case terry is a talker she's not a listener she's not a communicator it's not about carrying all those are long essays that she writes and they come in another it's not about reading long essays now nah. terry does not know how to communicate and she needs to go see a professional to teach her how to communicate because guys the truth is the moment she comes out of this house the show ends next week the moment she comes out into the real world she's going to be engaging in a lot of media rounds sites that probably or possibly brands are going to approach her for endorsements and all whatnot she's going to have to do a lot of communication moving forward in her life so if she lacks that skill then it's going to be at her own detriment so aside all of those things i said in this morning's video um temba gashwan and libo they complained about the exact same thing during their diary session and according to how they put it the only reason why they are not getting overly upset with terry is because they have now tried to get used to her because that is how she has been from week one that is how she has been from day zero now it was as if gashwan actually watched my video this morning because the exact same thing i said was what gashwan said that terry lacks listening skills it's as if she listens to question or to respond other than listening to understand first before responding and big brother also asked gashwan a series of questions regarding the task regarding um the housemates you know tensions and all of that but then one very important question that big brother asked him that i found really interesting was when big brother asked him if there was anything that he found really difficult at this stage of the game in biggie's house and he went ahead to explain that it was about communicating with terry so for him he's been trying to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with terry but then terry has been avoiding him like a plague now his own perception is could it be that Terry still has feelings for him. That initially in the first week, he had made an attempt to approach Terry, but then he noticed certain things about Terry which he did not like, and so he gave us space, which I did a video on Sunday venting about all of that, guys. That was what Gashon was actually referring to. So for him, he doesn't even know what to do anymore. To be very frank with you all, when Gashon said that, I was actually asking myself, like, dude, what exactly do you want to talk to Terry about? And how true is it that Gashwan has actually been making attempts 
to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Terry. I mean, most of the time, if Gashwan is not working together with his group, you know, on the task, is playing PDAs with um, Tato. So at what specific time has Gashwan really, really made an effort to have conversations with Terry? I mean, was it not just on Sunday that Tato was actually encouraging him to talk to Terry to see if he himself actually does have feelings for Terry? So, and he was refused and he was like, no, nah, he's done with that. So him coming into the diary room to come and make it look as if he has been very, very genuine in trying to create a connection between himself and Terry. And Terry is the one that has actually been turning him down. Guys, I just found it to be, I don't know, I, I think petty is the right word. But then who am I to say that he has not been making an effort? After all, we only see what the cameraman shows us on TV. So we do not really get to see all the behind the scenes that happens in the house. But then, I don't know, I am hoping that if the cameras will be kind enough to show us scenes, where Gashon had actually made attempts to have a personal conversation or create a personal connection with Terry, then he would actually go a long way to help us believe what he was actually saying. And then Mpo's diary session got me a bit emotional. I felt really sorry for her because according to her, she's tired of losing. The housemates had a series of tasks today and it seemed as though her team, they were just tired and exhausted of losing, that at some point they were even expecting to lose. So for Mpo, she's tired of losing. She cannot wait to win something for a change. And then for Temba, aside him complaining about um, um, how difficult it was to work together with Terry in a group. He also went ahead to talk about how he had put her in a place yesterday during the altercation. And then today, even though they had had an argument earlier in the day, she had kind of piped down a bit and has kind of tried to start giving people, you know, listening ear. Although she's still struggling, but now their team can actually try and work together without getting into altercations. But then he also went ahead to talk about his observation about most of the housemates in the house, specifically Libo and Tools. For him, it feels as though those two people have been operating in fear in the house because now, even though he has saved them to make it through to the top five, they are scared because, for instance, for Tools, Tools has never been up for eviction. He has never been, been saved, so he does not even know if he has an army out there voting for him or not and so he has become a shadow of himself in the house this week he's been very very careful hoping that people are going to find him worthy of winning the two million and then another thing he observed is that even though a lot of people in the house can actually brag and confidently say that oh they are sure that they are going to win the two million rand tools has never for once been able to brag because of course he does not really know his strength outside the house and then for libo as well he feels as though libo is now more freer you know, to do as he pleases. Unlike when he was up for nomination for possible eviction, Libo was acting very, very scared. And out of fear, he had had an altercation with Mpo and had said certain things he was not supposed to say. And I'm like, well, Temba, in that regard, you are wrong because you were not there when Libo and Mpo were having their argument. You don't even know what's been going on between these two people. So, Oga, I like it when you're smart and very, very strategic and calculating, but you do not know it all, Temba. So just shh. Hey. For Terry, her diary session really, I don't know, should I say surprised or shocked me? Yes, I mean, at the beginning of this video, when I was talking about those people who saw themselves as saints, they've been true to their game, blah, blah, blah. I was actually referring to Terry. So Terry actually believes that she's been herself. <laughs> Terry actually went to the diary room to slander Libo, going on and on to talk about how um, she's grateful that she is now very close to Mpo because she realized that Libo had actually been playing her and Mpo all because Libo carried out a secret task. And of course, guys, we know how this thing works with Mpo. You become friends with Mpo. Mpo is going to say all manner of trash about Libo to you. And then before you know it, you are not going to start disliking Libo. She did the same thing with Ntabi. When Ntabi got into the house, automatically she got Ntabi in a corner, converted Ntabi, Ntabi, I say Ntabi, Ntabi's mindset into disliking almost all the housemates, all 18, maybe 17 people, just because she felt like they were victimizing her. She made herself the victim. Now, this is the same thing that Mpo is doing with Terry. And I used to think that Terry was actually a very, very smart person. But I'm sorry to say that this week, or should I say since last week, Terry has actually been proving herself to be actually very gullible. Very gullible, very myopic, and very, very shallow-minded. You know, I 
was actually dumbfounded during Terry's diary session. Went on to talk about, oh, and she had been praying to God to remove all the negative energies around her. And then she was very grateful that um, she had had a fallout with Libo. And then Mpo had come into the picture. Now she understands that, oh, Mpo is actually the real one. I'm like, wow. So all the conspiracies, alliances that you and Libo and Tools and Temba we are doing, you were comfortable in that zone, you were comfortable in that space. And now, because Temba did not select you to go to top five, Libo is now your sworn enemy. Libo is now the one that you literally hate in that house. And guys, another thing I, I recall that she's actually referring to is Libo's secret task. Oh, because Libo was trying to create a diversion from himself, he had actually mentioned that, oh, it could be tools that actually took the housemates' items, their missing items. So because of that, she took it all personal. Now, Terry is literally joining forces with Mpo to fight a battle that does not belong to her against Libo. I'm like, this girl is still a child. I'm actually very, very disappointed. So I enjoyed Libo's diary session because um, he really hit the nail on the head with regards to the dynamics of the teams in the house. Yes, for this week's weekly wager. Remember guys, tomorrow is Thursday. The housemates are going to give us or you know, showcase to us their wager tax presentation. So um, for Libo, aside complaining about Terry being very difficult to work with because of course she lacks listening skills he also went ahead to identify the fact that oh yes his team they have a lot of knowledge about the topics that they will be debating on however they do not really have the speakers people who are experienced in debating unlike the other team where everybody is a speaker everybody is a motivational speaker whatever everybody on that other team they are literally used to the stage the stage could be team and um, tools microphone in the radio studio it could be tattoos um stage on tiktok it could be sister mara stage on whatever or wherever and in poor badimo stay um stage on being a sangoma so they are used to talking but his own team it's not like everybody there is 100 percent used to talking so he has a strong feeling that it might be a tough battle for them then for tools Temba is very difficult to work with. Um, guys, I, to be very honest, when he made that statement, I was just laughing. He gave a lot of scenarios. I was laughing in my head and I was thinking, oh, so now, because Temba has actually given you a free pass that you don't actually really deserve, by, if, if we want to talk about the game itself, you know, like really working hard for it, but then we give it to you that you are the games master. So now you have a free pass. Now you know that Temba is actually very difficult to work with. Abby, anyways, he also went ahead to complain about Tato. The fact that Tato is still very bitter that he made it through to the finals. So at every given point in time in a public setting when they are having conversations about a task, Tato is always throwing jabs at him, always attacking him, always jumping at him. And then even Tato, when she had her own diary session too, she was trying to justify why she was always snapping at tools. And I'm like, you know what? People should just calm down and wait. On Sunday, we'll know who is still going to be in that house or who is going home. So that people will let me hear what because this house smith i'm sorry you that tension that they have inside the house somehow is beginning to pounce on me as well and i'm wondering like what the hell did i do i mean i'm innocent in all of this i am only here giving reviews and analysis of the bloody show so why are people passing all your pressure to me <laughs> anyways this is where we're going to end this particular episode of francis speaking with gloria elijah just go ahead let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another video have an amazing have an amazing evening <laughs>